my aunt had a stroke. And, you know, at home they were so confused. In Nigeria, they didn't know what to do. You know, they phoned me, I was in London, and I said, take, them, take her to the hospital uh, with an ambulance. Call the ambulance. They said, there's no ambulance. Okay, take the transport, take her to the um, nearest stroke unit, and they said, there's no stroke unit. And I thought I had to do something in Nigeria. And that's how I went to Nigeria. Some people think that stroke is witchcraft. You know, they think it's an arrow from God. They think it's caused by a wicked relative. So we do encourage people that as part of our advocacy campaign to make sure that they get to the hospital because stroke is a medical emergency. As a result of that, we try to work with our local hospitals. So therefore, what we have set up in the hospitals is what we call stroke implementation team. We get a um, multidisciplinary team within the hospital, the neurologist, uh, the nurse, physiotherapist to work with our team and we have a meeting once a month to look at you know the number of strokes that are in the hospital what the issues are um, the statistics we have from the World Health Organization say that 200,000 people approximately have a stroke every year in Nigeria we are a stroke support organization uh, that we um, support people that have stroke and people that are at risk of stroke going through the whole trajectory of stroke care apart from acute care. So we do a lot of campaigning and advocacy work, for instance, lobbying the government to change policies in stroke care, because in Nigeria we do not have a national stroke strategy, uh, neither do we have a national um, stroke register. We also provide advice and information to people that are at risk of stroke or people that have stroke already to prevent them having a secondary stroke. And we run a prevention clinic for blood pressure, diabetes, and weight management, as well as support groups for people that already have a stroke to help them and support them to cope with life after a stroke.